Hello chess friends, this is Philip Master Valer Lyov and in my lecture today I'm going to present to you the Petrov defense. So this opening has a reputation of a very interesting one when black is trying to equalize and I would like to present you some of the major ideas that both sides have in that system. So the opening first begins with the move e4 for white uh, and black of course responds with uh, e5 so when white plays the move of knight f3, instead of defending that pawn on e5, black decides to counterattack the white own pawn. So he plays the move of knight f6, and the idea is that right now, if black, if white decides to take on e5, black will actually uh, hit the pawn on e4. So that opening was first analyzed by the Russian chess players of the 19th century, Petrov and Tianish, and uh, actually it's it's a very counter-attacking opening system. It looks passive in the beginning, like what has the tempo, he can get advantage, but uh, literally later on black can take advantage of that and even receive some better positions. So right now the major move that one has in this position is of course to accept the pawn. So after knight takes e5, black has uh, a couple of options that's, that he can go with. So one option is to take the pawn, to take on e4, the other one is first to hit the knight with d6, and the third option is to play the move of queen e7, so to attack the white knight and then eventually to take the pawn after that knight goes. So uh, let's start first with the line which is considered to be bad for black and that's knight takes to e4. So why the move knight takes to e to e4 is a bad one? Well, there are a couple of reasons. The first reason is that when black takes that pawn, right now white has the move, so he can move, and on the other hand the e file is open right in front of the black king. So after the move of knight takes to e4, what white can actually do is the simple move of queen to e2. Now the question is that now, if black decides to bring the knight backwards, like on f6 or d6, with this move, white will just open a check, a discovered check with his own knight, and now uh, black will practically lose his queen. Knight is a 6 check and he loses. Uh, the same thing happens if, for example, uh, black decides to do something else. If he decides in this position to play something like, this, let's say, the move of pawn to d5, then practically white can just play the move of d3, hit on the knight on e4, and basically when that knight goes away, like black plays knight f6, the same thing will happen. Knight to c6 check is working and black is practically losing his queen. So that's the question, and for this reason, it's not really a preferable idea for black to, to go this way. And the only variation which uh, is available for black and might be good after queen e2 is the simple move of queen to e7. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.